if you were looking at the history of your life, what would be the emotion that's most scary to feel that's there? You know, it's there, but you're like, I can't, I'm not allowed to feel that. I saw that smile, so I know something came to mind. In this coaching session, which happened during one of our public Q&As, I'm working with somebody who has learned how to disappear as a survival strategy. They learn not only the gift in that ability to disappear, but the steps they need to take so that they can live a more full life. All right, it's a good session. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm just completely blank on you know, where to go next. Um, for context, I lost my mother like pretty early, like when I was five years old. And then I tried, you know, not to feel anything because at that age, I couldn't like understand what's going on or, you know, manage what's happening to me. I had no answers. And so um, for the pretty much like the whole of my life, I've been thinking of emotions as these like useless and effective things. Um, and finally, I'm in a place to, you know, um, connect with them, but I don't know, like, uh, I cannot like label emotions. I don't know what's happening. Um, you know, ever after like listening to your podcast, I can like find some sensations, but most of them are just like, you know, pressure in the chest or like a spoke through the chest and nothing else comes up. I'm very blind. So what, what's the real question? I'm struggling, you know, to find pleasure in like what to do next or anything. Like everything I do is, you know, just because it, that's the right thing to do and not because I want to do this. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I have that phrase. I don't know if you've heard it, but it's um, joy is the matriarch of a family of emotions and she won't come into a house where her children aren't welcome. And it sounds like you very, uh, very wisely compartmentalized your emotions so that you could survive a world without a mother and I would assume a father who was frustrated a lot or because they're like <laughs> you know he's kind of... no more as well and you know I have like no partners and single parent with kids so I compartmentalize like lots of emotions at you know so yeah. this is the point yeah yeah so what's What's the emotion that you're scared to feel around um, like the history of your life? If you were looking at the history of your life, what would be the emotion that's most scary to feel that's there? You know, it's there, but you're like, I can't, I'm not allowed to feel that. I saw that smile. So I know something came to mind. Like I said, uh, I don't know. Like it's been so long. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to feel it. I'm just going to ask you to name it. What's the? Let's try something different. Instead of naming it, give me the sound of the emotion that you aren't allowed to feel around the history of your life, mom's death and the father situation and all of that. What's the sound? I think it's a lot. I think it's everything almost. Like, um, it feels like I just kept myself as hidden as yeah. possible. Ah, eh, eh, ah, like just what's the sound? Any sound is fine. It just it, whatever you when you think about your life, what's the sound you want to make? So right, right there, what is, is, does this feel like freeze? Like, you're like, I can't like it, like, 
Is that what's happening in your system? Um, I'm like my feet and like had to get cold and I'm just literally blank inside. I don't, I have yeah. nothing. Okay, so uh, I want you to become even more blank. So I'm gonna ask you what the sound is and you're gonna go blank, but I don't want you to go blank like this blank. I want you to go blank, super blank. Okay. Okay. So what's the sound that you want to make when you think about your entire life? Even more, just like all the way. Oh, wow. You're really good at that. What's the thing about here that you enjoy? About that that super blank place that is like, there's something about it that's like, that's like almost holy. There's some enjoyment there. What is that? I don't know. It's just quiet. It's just quiet. Yeah. Yeah. So let's try this thing out. Go to that quiet place. That's it is like I saw it. Like there's there's like a surrender to it almost. Yeah. Like it's quite lovely. So yeah, there you are, the quiet place. And I just want you to feel two inches below your belly button. So stay in the quiet place, but just bring your body into it. And then also feel your heart. And then also feel your throat. And see what it's like to do it with a straight body, like straighten your whole body so that it's like a, yeah. It's like your, yeah. Like it, honoring yourself as a way to honor God. How how bad is the depression? I mean, like nobody's ever called me depressed before. I'm like very high achieving all that, so I'm like straight A's, and then in a good work. So, um, I, I think I don't let it out that I'm, you know, just lonely or like I don't you even don't, consider myself depressed. You don't. You don't it's just. Not, you don't describe yourself. You don't feel depressed. You don't have yeah. feelings of like, I want this over anything like that. No. My apologies. Yeah. So what what's the sound that you want that you would make just a little sound that you would make from the if you were looking at your life. I feel like I probably want to cry a lot. Did you say cry a lot? Yes. Yeah. 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 And what's the fear that if you cry a lot, what would be the fear? That what would make you, what does your mind tell you as the reason not to do that? There's no reason. I haven't like thought about crying. How 
how do you think you would feel after you finished crying? I don't know. You had to guess? I think it's going to be like a very long period of crying. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. Say again. I think it's going to be like a very long period of crying. And like so many things. Yeah. When I first cried after 14 years, I, I cried for four days straight. Yeah. Oh, Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry that you lost your mother. What happened when I said that? What, what what was your reaction when I said it? I feel like tears grew into my eyes. Yeah. The quiet place that you find, do you notice it's always there? I think like I literally do it like often on purpose. Like I've, I've done it for so many years. It's the yeah. only place in smile that I know of. Like these things that you call emotions, they're not there in smile. These things that you call I emotions. Really have them. Yeah. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear it. Say it again. You know, the things that you normally call like, you know, emotions or feelings, to me, it's not there. All I have inside is my blank space. I see. Yeah. It doesn't feel bad. It, it's it's quiet and no i know i know the place yeah yeah and um i, I what i want to when when your when your tears come which is inevitable it see i see that it's hap it's going to happen just notice that that blank blank space is still there that the comfort of that blank space is not um the tears don't disturb it. Okay. The tears just help the body. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.